Hello everybody and welcome back to another day of brandy tasting. Today you're getting a slightly different view of my house, but you're also getting a view of my cat. I figured the best of both worlds. Today we're doing the first German brandy I've had, and that's why I picked this one up in the store. I thought I'd quiz you a little bit on um, your knowledge of the German language. It is Asfok Orot. And I probably mispronounced that, as I mispronounce a lot of words, and pretty much always have. So, forgive me. Gotta say, I don't know what it is, but I love this little fake emblem thing that so many bottles use. I know it's a flashback to traditional days, and it's it's a little hokey, particularly since the, the sticker is off, but... I, it just totally sucks me in. It makes me feel like I'm drinking something very special. Well, isn't that special? Is this very special? I don't know. We will find out. All right! Let's fucking do this! I'm not afraid to die! Tell you right now, this has been aged three years, and uh, alcohol volume is uh, 40%, pretty much the average. So... I don't know anything about this, as I always go into every review, or whatever you want to call these, not knowing anything other than, well, it's going to be a surprise. So let's open this up here. Oh, it's got a cork. Pop. I like the red, I don't know what we call it, red-orange hue. Kind of matches my hair, actually, now that... Sort of. <laughs> That's the nice, nice color. I remember when I had um, a coffee brandy. I was looking at it, and I'm like, this looks like gasoline. Doesn't look like I want my brandy to look like. All right, here we go. Let's take a nice sip of some German brandy. I've been in Germany once, in Frankfurt on Main, and my great-grandmother came over from Germany in 1900, so for you, Auguste Braun. Oh, that has a slightly different taste to it. Um, okay, uh, um, that has just a slightly different taste. I'm not sure how to describe this. You to taste and then we just want your feedback. All right, well they're gonna be awesome, Roger. <laughs> okay. They really are. <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, let's just wait until we taste them, uh, and then we can discuss. It has this taste that, uh, I guess maybe we could say, like, uh, oak or something like that. It does say on the bottle here, it's kept in limo, limousine, <laughs> limousine oak cass. with a secret maturing and refining process. Don't know how secret that is or what the secret is, but something is different here. And now for something completely different. This has like a very warm feeling, like uh, not too potent. It doesn't have uh, an aftertaste. It doesn't have a big kick, actually. There's something in this, and I can't figure out what the word is to describe it. It's just, it's got a, a, a flavor in here. Hmm. Wow, that's, that's interesting. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, there is a steady flavor. Maybe it's like a wood... Uh, type flavor. I am totally drawing a blank, but it's fairly nice. So if you like a brandy, I would say that has that sort of uh, warm feeling. Uh, I, I was reading a book, 
what was I reading? Oh, oh, uh, Douglas Adams, Dirt Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. Do you know something? I don't know anything, ever. It's really quite relaxing. I'm reading that right now, and at one point one of the characters comes home, and he has a warm glass of brandy, and he sits on his couch. And, you know, you read that cliché so often, or in the movies, can I get you a glass of brandy, blah, 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 something that pretty much nobody does anymore, I don't think. This is what I would picture someone drinking. This, to me, feels like that drink they're going for. It doesn't have, like, a crazy fruity or sweet feeling. It, it's not, like, overpowering. It's just that soft, that soft drink after a long, hard day. Warm. Wood. Those are the words I describe this brandy. I, I'm totally drawing a blank. Uh, warm and wood. And it does have a strong flavor. There are some brandies that I've had that literally, they go down like water. Um, and and you, you're just drinking it. And they're really good, but they just don't give you anything. This is a nice, strong traditional tasting brandy. So, um, since I'm kind of drawing a blank here, why don't you put in the comments what you think of Asphalt or Lalt? You know, my six months of German in middle school just haven't stayed with me. My apologies. <laughs>